What's up guys, welcome back to Daniel Talks Football right here on YouTube. I'm Daniel and we are back with another video. In this video, I'm going to be speaking about Harry Kane. Now, Kane is obviously looking like he's going to be on the move this summer. He's got one year left on his Spurs contract and even though they have offered him a new contract of £400,000 a week without Champions League or even European football in general, it's looking like Postacoglu's men will not be able to keep hold of Kane. He hasn't confirmed he wants to move like he did a couple of years back. However, it's quite likely that he does want to move on from the football club. And there are a lot of suitors. One of these is Bayern Munich. Now, do I think this move to Bayern will happen? Personally, I don't think it will. They've made a second bid of around £80 million. I still feel that falls far short of Levy's, Levy's asking price. Bayern feel like they're going to get the deal done. Bayern's, uh, Bayern's chiefs have come out and kind of said that, you know, Levy's going to have to negotiate. This is a player that's got one year left on his contract and Spurs will not want to lose him for free, which is true. However, they're going to need to bid more than 80 million if they want him. I can imagine that Spurs will maybe try and keep him and then hope they have a good start of the season under Posta Coglu, with then the hope being that he signs a new contract. That's what Levy will want to do. Levy does not want to lose Harry Kane. He's shown this before. Bids of 70, 80, 90 million will not be accepted. You'll need to pay about 120 million, I think, to get Kane this summer, if not even more. With the player only having one year left in his contract, you could see 120 if Levy starts to waver on that idea that he won't be signing a new contract. Buying a one option. However, the other options are starting to dwindle. I still think Chelsea could be an option. Is he happy to betray Spurs like that? I don't know. That's the only issue. Obviously, going from Spurs to Chelsea would be a betrayal. We've seen him. Was he an Arsenal fan? Was he not an Arsenal fan? I don't know. But he's definitely a Spurs fan now. Going from Spurs to Chelsea, that's a big betrayal. And I don't know if he could do that to those Spurs fans. However, you know, I can't even say money talks because Spurs are offering a lot of project talks. But Chelsea, again, they don't have European football. And I do feel that that's what Kane wants to do. Kane wants to go and win trophies somewhere. He's not going to do that at Tottenham. It's also not guaranteed to do that at Chelsea. Your other options you've got, obviously, Manchester United are an option. I could see that happening. They still don't have a big nine. And they are about to sign uh, Marcus Rashford to a new five-year deal. However, they don't have a big striker in yet. And that's something they're looking to get done. They're you know, closing on that Onana deal. And you imagine once that gets done, they will go out and try and get their new striker. Are they going to have 120 million to go and throw at Levy for Harry Kane? Would 120 million be enough for a Premier Club? I think 120 million is what he would cost to Bayern, who Spurs literally are not going to be competing with anywhere this season and could not be for a couple of seasons if they don't meet meet them in European competition. But to sell him to a direct competitor like Chelsea or like Manchester United, would you be maybe looking at near 150 million? I'm not sure, but I do think Kane will be on the move this summer. If, if not this summer, I do think he'll be on the move next summer. I can't see him staying at, at Spurs for longer than the end of this contract. I think, you know, he's done all he can with that Spurs side. And unless Postacoglu, you know, if, if Spurs are 10 points clear in the league by, you know, April, he might sign a new contract. By that point, he'll be looking like he's going to win a trophy. This is a man who can't retire without winning a trophy. And even if I think Spurs would win like the Carabao Cup this season, I don't think that would be enough for Kane to re-sign. Kane wants a big trophy and he's going to get that if he goes to Bayern Munich. Is it, are they prestigious trophies? Not particularly, but you know, you could easily, if he signs a three year contract there, you would expect him to pick up three Bundesliga, maybe a DFB Pokal, and possibly a Champions League. That is incredibly good for a player that still hasn't won trophies yet. You look at somebody like Gareth Bale, who I know he left to go to Real Madrid, but you know, a player who left. Spurs. This is something that Kane hasn't done. And um, yeah, Bell went on to win what 22, 23 trophies. Kane hasn't won any. He needs to leave this football club and he needs to get a move. If it's not going to be Bayern and if it's not going to be staying within the Premier League to go to either United or to Chelsea, then I think the only other option he does have is to go to PSG. PSG are looking like they could be losing one of Neymar or Mbappe. The reason I'm only saying one is because um is that, I can't remember what the case was with Xavi Simons. Maybe it was if they were to lose one, Xavi Simons was going to stay at the football club. However, it looks like Xavi Simons is getting a loan move, which would possibly hint that they're both going to stay. However, I don't think they will. I think Real Madrid will come in with a 120 million offer for Mbappe 
and I think PSG will negotiate. I think they'll get 150 million, and I think Kylian Mbappe will go to Real Madrid. Does Neymar move on? Does Neymar get a big offer from Saudi Arabia? Saudi Arabia go, we'll give you a 50 million for Neymar, and you know we'll we'll pay his wages. And PSG go, all right. And then you've got two big earners off the books, and they need a new player. In. Would that new player be Harry Kane? I could see Kane going to PSG again. It's guaranteed trophies. That's something he needs at this stage of his career. I could have seen it more when Pochettino was there. Pochettino now going to Chelsea does make him more likely to go to Chelsea, I think, especially with all the money Bowie's happy to spend. Over there, I brought in Nicholas Jackson, and are they going to be looking to sign another new striker? The Harry Kane saga is certainly hotting up, and I'm interested to see sort of how this how this saga does end. Where does Kane end up? You know, you've got, as I say, you've got plenty of options. You've got stay at Spurs for this season and move next summer. Or you've got stay, stay at Spurs full stop, go to United, go to Chelsea, go to PSG, go to Bayern Munich. I think they're his big five options. I can't think of another one. If anybody can, you know, let me know in the comments below. But something big is going to happen with Harry Kane. There's going to be a massive sale happening this summer. Who he goes to? I'm not sure, but personally, I do think he will be leaving Spurs. Where do you think Kane will end up? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll catch you all again in the next video. See ya!